Mike, the come from behind victories have been a theme for this team all season long. Kind of appropriate that the last regular home season game ends on a late comeback win like this. Yeah, that was that was fitting. Um, you know, really grit squad showed up again. Um, competed the whole day. You know, down, fought back, down. Clearly fought back and was able to bring it home. Robert, good for him. Did a nice job. Really crisp. As far as the team makeup, I mean, a lot of people talk about teams might be made for the regular season or postseason. It seems like your team is built for late and close. I mean, you've got the bullpen. You've got pieces off the bench no matter what the lineup is, pinch runners. How fun has it been for you to have all those weapons to go to and be able to push all the right buttons? It's a complete roster. You know, AJ deserves a lot of credit. Um, but our players ultimately get the credit. Um, they're the ones out there executing. Um, but it is. It's a very uh, complete roster. We've been able to demonstrate how to win games a lot of different ways. We do play a lot of close games, and we've been able to uh, execute and be on top of most of them. Another nice outing for you, Darvish, today. What do you think, and how confident are you of him going into the postseason? It seems like he continues to build up. Yeah, he's been great. You know, he wanted to go out and, and get a little bit of that seventh and continue to get built up a little bit, so we let him have on the righty, and, and um, you know, he rewarded it. But um, thought he was fantastic again. A couple swings got him, but... Everything was good. Everything was in the zone. Spin was good. Um, ball was coming out good. He's looked, you know, fastball had some life to it. Also, congratulations. That's a heck of a milestone, man. 2,000 major league strikeouts over 3,100, I think, for his combined professional career. That's that's really impressive. So, it's a big number, 2,000 for your career in major league baseball, and it's a rarefied error. So, congratulations to you on that individual accomplishment. I know you have been nothing but supportive of Robert and expressed your confidence, but how big do you think that might be for him that came in and did that today? Yeah, I mean, you know, really you take away, which we can't now know in this game, but you can't take away a couple, three swings, but this guy's been really, really good for us. And, you know, the good news is we have other two couple guys that, you know, that are deep in our bullpen in the back end that are very helpful. But Robert went out there again, stuff was good, was throwing it for, you know, quality strikes and, um, just a really nice job for him today. I was, I was really happy for him, pleased for him. I'm going to try to do the impossible because I know you're like one game at a time, but yeah. you go up there with a magic number of one and, and you're facing the Dodgers. You have a chance to win the division. Like how big is this series? Yeah, I mean, listen, we're this is what we set ourselves up for. It's what we started, you know, even before spring training, you know, talking about. And this is what we have set our sights on and we're pretty clear about it and we don't talk a lot about it but it's you know we're more of an action versus words kind of team and um you know so now we put ourselves in a position to go and and go play you know go play for the division that's what this is all about and that's what we've been working towards mike in a lot of these comeback wins it feels like there's a moment where everything just kind of clicks can you take us in the dugout in the eighth inning when donnie leads off with that double is that kind of the 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 feeling up and down the the, the row there of kind of like all right this this game's ours now like the the the, the triggering moment um i think we're ready to compete and expect the moment before it happens um and when it happens you know everyone's doing their part for to execute to allow those moments to happen and donnie did you know another quality at bat you know gets the ball he can get down the line and you know here comes louis you know here he comes off the bench and does what he does and you know uses the whole field and and uh got a ball down the line for the double and and what are you gonna say about Profar? you know what a great at bat you know big opposite field homer to answer right back in the third and um <coughs> you know just a quality at bat i mean just he was gonna find a way to get it done and get him over um and you know clearly got him in of course toddy with the punctuation mark and you've said all year it's better as the season goes on are you at the point now where you think this team is pretty much at its peak or do you have a little bit more left we're always looking to play our best baseball and we feel good about the baseball we play um we got a nice rhythm everybody's got a lot of clarity of what they're doing why they're doing it how they're doing it um now it's just about her continue to execute Mike, is there significance to going to L.A. in control of your own path, having swept the White Sox this weekend and results elsewhere? Like, you guys now are in complete control of what you Yeah, no, that's, what you, that's all you can ask for. You know, I mean, people talk about scoreboard watch and understand it. Um, the scoreboard I watch is at home in the left center. It's our scoreboard. You know, it's about what we do. Uh, you know, there's nobody in our dugout, whether it's a player or staff member or a coach or even myself, that we've had people help us along the line for sure. We've had... Everybody's been there and, and, you know, their families or coaches or people have supported us. Um, but those players on the field, they got to the big leagues about getting it done on the field. And that's what this is about. It's about us taking care of our business. And, and um, we're not looking for any anything other than what we can control. 
I will say just a couple of things, you know, great defense again. Let's don't underestimate that. Um, nice Darvish, crony, bogey, and the ball girl got involved in the six, made a great play. I mean, you know, it's just uh, everybody was throwing the weather around today. And we acknowledge your fans today and tip of the hat to the fans. I mean, we still got more to come, but let's acknowledge, um, you know, record breaking, you know, home attendance record and, and the crowd that supports us that we're so grateful for. And, um, you know, we're not done, but we do want to. It was good we were able to acknowledge that their support and their passion and their love for us because it means a lot to us. How, how's Luis with a knee? What, were you trying to stay away from him if you could today? That was his, yes. I mean, that was what pretty much we went into the game for, you know, a spot like that for him to be able to go and take an at-bat. Do you expect after day off tomorrow, Tuesday, he'll be back in the starting lineup? Yeah, I don't. You see what he does to David at first. I mean, I think he's capable a lot more if I don't put him in the lineup. <laughs>